everyone it's a john here and i just want to report some news to you guys on march 8 2021 okay so let's start over here with this wooter thing right here so wooter and wooter apparel begin accepting dogecoin here <clears throat> sports apparel brand leads the way in offering athletes and, and teams a new way to purchase custom-made athletic jerseys uniforms and gear for all seasons i mean okay guys the previous day or last week we saw Mark Cuban started accepting Dogecoin for the Dallas Mavericks and his, and, his, and his merch, right? Here we are seeing it go even further now, okay? So check out here. <clears throat> People who accept Dogecoin, such as Floyd Mayweather, Hip Hop Icons, Master P, Snoop Dogg, NFL greats, Chad Ocho Chino, I may have said it wrong, I apologize, Johnson and Tara, and Tara Owens, <clears throat> NBA alums, Al Harrington, Smush Parker, Stephen Jackson, and Matt Barnes, among others, the Wooters Infinity logo, has emerged as one of the most recognizable sports brands worn by youth, amateur, college, semi-pro, and professional teams and athletes in sports today. This is literally huge because Dogecoin is is not only cryptocurrency is, is already done by most of young people here, right? And now the, and, and now the, and now these young brands are further solidifying <clears throat> their reach, their market adoption, the radio adoption of Dogecoin here. And then these young kids here are going to be like, okay, you know what? I may, I may just buy some more. Because if it goes up, I could trade it in and buy things cheaper, right? I mean, imagine imagine Dogecoin goes, 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 goes from 35 cents right here, right? And 10 cents, right? And like, and now you're buying your um, jersey from Wooter. <clears throat> it's now half off, literally, because you invested when it was 5 cents here. So in a sense here, it's like, why wouldn't I buy this, right? Of course, the opposite can happen as well. But so far for Dogecoin, we just see it going up for the most part over time, the long term here, right? So with that being said, I think this is going to be great for Dogecoin here in general. And the radio adoption is exploding, guys. If you haven't bought some already, I don't want to be a hype man, but I would say get some. I, even I bought some, you know. I was never really into cryptocurrencies, I'll be honest with you guys. But now, I'm all in. And in the sense, I'm, I started investing in it. I think it's really cool now, this whole thing. Very interesting. The cryptocurrency announcement comes on the heels of Cupcare surpassing over 100,000 PPE orders placed alone in 2020. That's a lot of masks, guys. You know, gloves, all that kind of jazz, right? Face masks, face shields, uh, masks, uh, whatever else you could think of, you know? <clears throat> and these are large companies here going into the space of using Dogecoin to start facilitating transactions here. I mean, this is going to be bonkers, dude, honestly. I mean, we're literally... On the precipice, I've been saying it multiple times already, of the beginning to the moon, literally, as this picture indicates, the moon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, along with Cupcare, Wooter and Wooter Apparel joined a growing list of companies that accepts Dogecoin, including Travela.com, <clears throat> Ninja Ginkies, Box Real Estate, Stakebox, Daytona Nissan, and Airy T. So now we're, 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 um, we're Dogecoin moving into travel. I'm not sure what Ninja Game Keys is, but it sounds like some kind of PC um, CD key kind of thing, you know, where you buy it for five bucks, you get this game key, and you put it on the scene. That's what it sounds like to me. I haven't been there personally, so I'm not sure yet. Um, box Real Estate, okay? A Steak Box, now we're not, not sure what that is right there. They turn on Nissan, a Florida um, Nissan dealership, right? I'm assuming by the, by, by the name of Daytona. Airy T, some kind of like drink thing, a drink company. So we're literally expanding to all different segments of the industries here, right? We're, we're going everywhere, literally. So we're going to be, um, be, so Dogecoin is being spread out to so many different groups of people who probably would never ever think of Dogecoin, right? You have cars now, you have traveling, and traveling is going to be lifted soon, right? I mean, given the fact that we're, we're getting all these um, vaccines, all this kind of jazz here, so things are starting to open up now, right? I mean, guys, this is going to be amazing. With Dogecoin... A cheaper option to 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 try. Uh, I'm sorry. With Dogecoin, a cheaper option to transact beyond credit cards and banks. Wudo Apparel is once again staying ahead of the game as it is, as it has as it has past experience with cryptocurrency. So apparently, Dogecoin has a cheaper transaction than actual credit cards and banks. I mean, so if it's cheaper to use. Then I mean, like you know, whatever. Um, you're buying with Dogecoin, right? You, you know, the, the companies are, are going to advocate to use that more because 
for them, A, they get less fees, and for them, that's good for them, right? And when they get less fees, they may decrease their price as well, you know, because usually when when companies get a, you know, a higher price tag or higher or, or higher supply cost, they usually pass on to the customers here, right? But in the same sense, if they get lower fees, they could pass on their lower prices to you as well. So maybe when you're at checkout at, at, Woodward, at Woodward.com or whatever it's called right here, right? You're buying this like Snoop Dogg jersey or something. You pay credit cards like five bucks. I'm, I'm just saying for example here, right? You pay with Dogecoin, maybe, maybe it's four ninety five. So you, you may say five cents right there. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm throwing out numbers here, obviously. I haven't, I haven't done it myself personally, but that's the ideal though, right? It's cheaper. So that means it passed on to you guys, aka me and you, the consumers, right? Which is good, which is really good, which what you want to see here, okay? I mean, I think this is really big news here. So um, as you can see, they, they throw out Twitter about it and everything, you know? <laughs> I love this stuff, man. Don't just coin to the moon, dude. Check this out also. I saw this, this, this guy right here also, um, this, um, I guess, MMA fighter or something. He's KO Kid Barry. So let's see. Uh, here we go. I'm on the fence about doing one bare knuckle boxing match. Really favors MMA fighters. If I do, I'm wearing Dogecoin meme shirts in and out of the ring. No joke. Let's get Doge and the combat sports community. I would say yes, sir. Please do that. I would support you for 100%, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is great. Now we're now, now we're getting to the sports segments, right? Of MMA now, right? I mean, obviously it's a it's a smaller niche segment here, but the thing is, usually with, with all these niche segments, you have more dedicated followers here, right? And the point of of, of all these um, <clears throat> announcements and news is that we're trying to get more rate adoption, and we're seeing it actually happen actually happen right before our eyes, like today, last week, the coming days ahead of time, right here, right? So th I, I mean I mean it's literally. The, the rate adoption is just spurring all over the place. I, I can't repeat over and over the word rate adoption, but that's a key word to understand because, you know, you know what, is, what is Dogecoin, right? It's meant to be the, the, the people's currency. So in order to be a pe pe people's currency, guess what? People have to know about it, right? People have to start using it, right? In order to use it, you got to know about it. And if you know about it, you, you may want to buy some of it to convert it, right? You know, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're a savvy shopper, you may, you, 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 you may want to buy some Dogecoin today, and then a month or two, it may go up it's like 10 cents or 8 cents right here, right? So now where you buy is like literally about half off or, or 25% off just because with the, same amount of, with the same amount of US dollars you're putting into it, right? So I mean, obviously, the other the, 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 the other um, the other scenario exists as well, right? Your, your 5 cents could, be, could become 2.5 cents, right? And now where you buy with Dogecoin could be, you know, 25% more, more, more expensive here. Obviously, this is what you would call speculation here. But but the truth is the way Dogecoin is going, I don't see it going anywhere but up. Honestly, I mean it may be slowly but surely, but it's definitely going up to the moon bound though for sure. Okay, check this out. Also, Elon Musk. You know, I mean again, great band. Too bad they broke up ACDC. I mean this is kind of like uh, what is that? I can't remember his name. I had a brain fart. Um, the other uh, um, wow, I can't remember his name for life of me. But you know what? Put a comment below if you know who he is. Um, he's basically another um. Rockstar, who recently started buying a whole bunch of Dogecoin and started tweeting about a few a few weeks a few weeks back or maybe a month back now I'm not too sure exactly the time from here, but he was also in a really big band. I can't remember his name, so put a comment below. Let me know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I had a brain fart. But anyways, moving on here. Check out BitPay. Okay, I saw that Reddit. I saw I saw that on Reddit by the way, and I found it very interesting. Okay, check it out. <clears throat> Hold the line, sheep. BitPay Amazon gift cards. Hashtag BitPay allows you to buy Amazon gift cards with hashtag Doge, hashtag Dogecoin. I mean, literally, you can use BitPay, which is a huge transaction company where you, 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 know, you, you, you get their, their debit card or credit card, you put your coins in there, coins in there and you can transfer it into whatever you want, like right? US dollars and from, Bit, from get Bitcoin. And now recently, BitPay has also added the Dogecoin, right? And people are using it. This is amazing. This is great. Check it out here. He literally paid um, 390 Dogecoins for 20 bucks, right? But the only problem here I see here is that you get a minor fee of, of 7 cents US dollars. So you put actually like Dogecoin and a half or something, you know? I mean, is it terrible? No. But it's definitely, I would say, um, a step in the right direction here. I mean, yeah, it should be just 20 for 20, you know, or one for one exactly. But, you know, with, 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 with um, cryptocurrency and, you know, the blockchain, right, there are minor fees and there are network fees, right? So, you know. There's always something to be paid somewhere, so I mean, this is not the best outcome here, but it's definitely a great outcome and a and a great step, a great step in the right direction. You know, I like this a lot actually, and I and and the fact that people are actually you know 
BitPay literally announced it a few days ago, maybe five days ago or something, you know? And now people are using it already. This is amazing, literally amazing. Imagine the future, right? There, like I've been saying before, you buy five cents um, Dogecoin and today's like, what, 5.6? Guess what, guys? You just got like a 10% discount on your Amazon gift card here. So you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like pay 20 bucks, you, you may pay 18 US dollars, right? Because, I mean, do the math real quick. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm doing some estimates here so I can be off by a little bit, but you get the ideas over here, right? So Dogecoin is pretty cool. Check this. I, I saw it also on Reddit too. I found it actually very interesting here. Usually, whale share was forty nine percent, but now it's forty seven percent. So they are not pumping it. It's real. Doge to one dollar. Okay. I mean, obviously, I don't know how valid this is right here, but I guess it's not. It's an idea on Reddit though. So apparently, in the past, it was about forty nine percent of, of of the whales have the tokens here, right? So this means the whales are actually selling some of their tokens here. But at the same token, I believe also that you know there were a lot of in the in a past few weeks ago there were a lot of Robinhood users who were upset right here right and i guess it was uh, it was unveiled that um the whale was actually robin hood right with a d19 um hashtag uh hash hash line 256 bit code or something i i, I guess there's some kind of like a um, um research about it and he kind of found out um, it was robin hood who's who's the actual whale itself so so i mean this may be just a fact that people who are who had the robin hood accounts you know um, with with those maybe they sold it from there and he bought it somewhere else right here right so that's why you see the, the, the whale gets smaller but moving into different kind of wallets here right different kind of wallets because with Robinhood right they don't let you actually keep your coins right they, you're just you're buying it on, on like the um on the principle the fact that it could go up or down and, and you're buying it on, on that kind of principle here but you don't you, you don't actually get to hold the, the actual Doge code yourself in your own personal wallet here you know Robin Robin Hood probably has their own hot wallets or cold wallets where they kind of put it somewhere, right? So, I mean, this is actually, actually really cool, guys. I mean, check it out. So, this means people are moving out of, of these larger institutions and going to smaller ones or even, you know, being their own central banker here, right? So, with that being said, I, with all this kind of news here, I, I just can't help but believe that Dogecoin is going to go to the moon, honestly, guys. You know, I, I keep on repeating myself and I sound like a, a, a Dogecoin hype boy or hype man in this case, but you know what? I am all about Dogecoin, but I try to give both perspectives, the negatives and the positives, you know, because obviously with anything good, there's always bad. With anything bad, there's always good as well. So that depends how you see it. And as always, if you've watched it this far, I mean, it would really, really, really help me a lot if you just give me a subscribe, a like, and then comment below about the news and how you think this will impact Dogecoin here. All right, guys, I will catch you guys on the next one. It's A John, I'm out.